should the CBI be investigating into the Sushant Singh Rajput death? That's a matter under consideration now. Let's quickly look at the two sides. Well, of course, the CBI should be roped in in this case. In fact, this is a fit case for the CBI to come in. Look at the turf war that we have seen over the past few weeks between the Mumbai police and the Patna police. Well, on one hand, you have the Mumbai police claiming that the Bihar police does not have jurisdiction in this case and Patna police, on the other hand, blaming the Mumbai police for creating obstructions in its probe. The fact of the matter is there is duplication, there is waste of resources with this kind of parallel investigation happening. It's only hurting the interest of the case. CBI should come in, it should consolidate efforts and it should take the probe details from both these police forces and move expeditiously in this matter. The Bihar police at this point, of course, is, uh, has also some doubts cast over its uh, functioning since there is a perception that uh, uh, there is political pressure for the Bihar police to get hold of a high profile case, build some political capital for Nitish Kumar ahead of the Bihar elections. And similarly, there are doubts cast over the functioning of the Mumbai police as well with the likes of uh, leaders like Aditya Thakre with his, with his own admission uh, because of his proximity uh, with Bollywood. Uh, the Maharashtra government is hell bent on not letting this case slip out of the hands of the Mumbai police. And then of course there are real issues of uh, jurisdiction since uh, the alleged crime happened in Mumbai. As per procedure, uh, the investigation must happen here in Mumbai. Uh, at best, uh, the Bihar police could have registered a zero FIR even if the family approached a police station in Bihar and then transferred the case to the original place of crime. So why is it that the Bihar police has made a departure from the set procedure? Similar questions being raised on Mumbai police as well for its inept and inefficient handling. The uh, Mumbai police has only looked at the issue of uh, professional rivalry to the exclusion of everything else that has come out now. Whether it is the issue of Riya Chakraborty uh, dwindling funds from Sushant's account or the issue of a text message coming to a senior officer way back in February that Sushant's life is under threat. The family is claiming that the Mumbai police was alerted and the family says we do not trust or have full faith in Mumbai police in this. Under the circumstances when there is so much of conflict and confrontation, the CBI should be roped in and uh, you know it is, it is equipped with better resources to handle a case of this nature. Also, you know, it's an interesting that on the point of Riya Chakraborty, the two police forces are actually working in two different directions. The Mumbai police has somehow summarily dismissed uh, the, the role or involvement of Riya Chakraborty saying that they haven't found anything to substantiate the claims uh, of her being involved or misusing funds from Sushant's account. Similarly, uh, you know, the Bihar police also on the issue of Riya Chakraborty seems to be determined to look into her movements, her transactions and uh, they are determined to look at the issue of whether she is, uh, you know, uh, misused funds from Sushant's account and in fact also filed a case of criminal breach of trust. So the two forces are working in two different directions. The Mumbai police seems to be more focused on Sushant's mental health and his infirmities, pointing out to his browsing history and talking about how the actor was already looking at things that indicate he could take, uh, uh, take an extreme step. Therefore, uh, you know, the best course forward would be for the CBI to come in that would prevent or rather settle the matter, the, the uh, two forces working at loggerheads and uh, take over the case in the best interest of the case. Now, what's on the other side? Well, on the other side, uh, the reality is the CBI is not authorized or mandated to take over a case unless uh, it goes through the process of recommendation first by the state government and then approved by the center. Now in this case, uh, even though the Bihar government recommended a CBI probe and the center approved it, in the meanwhile there was a plea pending in the top court, plea filed by Riya Chakraborty to transfer the case to Mumbai. So at this point of time, uh, the issue of whether the CBI can handle the case is pending before the top court. But even on the point of merit on whether CBI should be handling this case, one must say that in previous instances of CBI taking over such high profile suicide cases, not much of headway has been made. Whether it is the Jia Khan case or for that matter the Sunanda Pushkar case. 
what we see is that these high profile cases uh, they remain hanging in the courts for years so it's not as if once cbi takes over there will be a speedy delivery of justice also the larger point of course about uh, you know this whole propensity to hand over every single high profile case to cbi must not be encouraged it's a central agency it's already burdened with a lot of uh, Uh, high profile cases and important cases so uh, mumbai police for that matter is considered to be a formidable force that has even broken the back of uh, the underworld why should the mumbai police not be capable enough of handling this case uh, given the fact that they know the ins and outs of bollywood they know the movements of these high profile people uh, and and you know they uh, they should be best equipped to handle a case of this nature rather than uh, hand it over to the cbi so those are the two sides tell me what you think thanks for watching two sides with a feeder